this seemingly adorable kitten would not be happy with your stroking. The palace cat, also known as the Manol, Otocolobus Manol, is an extremely fascinating cat species whose biology, origin, and unique characteristics are of interest to researchers. The palace cat owes its name to German zoologist Peter Simon Pallas. The talented scientist observed the cat near Lake Baikal in remote Siberia. The Latin name of the palace cat is Otocolobus Manol. The name refers to the ears of this beautiful animal. Some translate the cat's name from Latin into English as ugly ears. However, the name can also be translated differently. The prefix oto means ear, while kolobos from Greek means shortened, which when translated reads short ears. This species of cat has small, barely visible ears for a reason. Low-lying ears help the cat to hide, and it can freeze in stillness and blend in with its surroundings. In animal and human bodies, blood vessels are responsible for regulating body temperature. Ears have many blood vessels, so they can emit a fair amount of heat. When an animal wants to cool down, the blood vessels in the ears dilate. This increases blood flow through the ears, allowing heat to be released into the environment. Since ears have a limited amount of fatty tissue, they are poor thermal insulators, so they easily give off heat. The larger the ears, the more efficiently animals can cool themselves. This is an example of adaptive evolution, in which organisms develop certain traits to adapt to the prevailing environment. This is why animals in warm regions have large ears. Examples include the fennec fox and the kangaroo. So in cold regions, smaller ears are preferred so as not to lose too much heat. The polar bear palace cat or the arctic fox are just good examples. Manul has caused biologists quite a problem with taxonomic affiliation. Initially, it was included in the genus Felis. In particular, it was thought to have similarities with the wildcat. Based on more recent studies and the significant difference in skull structure and round eyes, which will be mentioned later in the program, Palace cat was classified in the separate genus Otocolobus. It is unknown exactly when this species of cat separated from its ancestors. If it was closely related to the wild cat, their common ancestor would be Martelli's cat, which was one of the first modern Felis species. In terms of size, the palace cat can be compared to domestic cats. Although they appear larger due to their lush fur, they are actually of similar size. It weighs between 5 and 11 pounds. It measures more than 1.7 feet in length without the tail. The tail itself is thick and reaches a length of 0 0.7. It is marked with four to seven black rings with a black tip. Its face is said to look perpetually frowning. This is due to its slightly flattened muzzle, which may resemble that of a Persian cat. The discoverer of this mysterious cat himself likened them to the Persian cat. As it turned out, this was a misguided clue. Its short legs don't do well with running, and some say the palace's cats is the least agile of all cats. He mostly sets up ambushes for his prey, or digs his hosts out of shallow burrows. He hunts small rodents such as shrews and voles. It is particularly fond of pika, which is a small rodent of the genus barking. Scientists have observed that the palace's cats' territories overlap with the presence of this charming rodent, he can camouflage himself perfectly due to his fur, which perfectly disguises his location. In winter, its fur becomes white-gray, while on the Mongolian steppes, it will take on a shade of brown. It has the densest fur of all wildcats, which undoubtedly helps it survive in harsh conditions. Palace's cat's range extends from the Caucasus to the east through Central Asia and Mongolia. In 2019, a scientific expedition discovered the existence of the cat on the world's highest mountain, Mount Everest. The tracks were located at an altitude of more than 5,000 meters in such conditions where temperatures can drop to 58 degrees Fahrenheit. Its thick, warm fur is justified. The uniqueness and mystery of the palace cat lies not only in its secretive lifestyle but also in its eyes. In the wild, we distinguish mainly three pupil shapes, 
round, vertical and horizontal. Scientists have studied more than 200 animal species with the aforementioned pupil shapes. It turned out that the type of pupil in a given animal is related to the ecological niche. Horizontal pupils are the domain of herbivores. They help them see danger. The horizontal pupil gives a wider field of vision. With a panoramic view, a goat or sheep grazing in a meadow can more easily spot a predator. What's more, a change in pupil alignment has been observed, and it always maintains a horizontal position when the animal bends down for food, in which case the eyeball is able to rotate 50 degrees so that the pupil remains in a horizontal position. Predators, on the other hand, nature has endowed with vertical or round pupils. What shape it takes depends on a couple of factors. It can be assumed that vertical pupils are possessed by hunters who hunt from ambush and are active during the day as well as at night. The dilation and constriction of the pupil is responsible for the amount of light entering the retina. For example, the pupil of a domestic cat can undergo a 135-fold change in area. In contrast, the round pupil of a human changes 15 times. That's why in bright sunlight in a cat, you can see a barely visible vertical line, while at night a cat's eyes take on a human appearance. However, this is not the only advantage for this type of pupil. It also allows them to judge quite precisely the distance to a potential victim, since, by definition, an ambush attack involves a one-time attempt to annihilate the enemy, the attacker must act like a sniper. The pupils create an astigmatic depth of field such that vertical contour areas do not significantly lose focus depending on the distance of the area, while horizontal contour areas remain blurred. The vertical pupils having a shallow depth of field for horizontal contours make it easier to estimate the horizontal distance along the ground. The mechanism thus created facilitates stereoscopic vision, which enables spatial vision. Round pupils are the domain of big cats, such as lions and tigers. Because these animals are active during the day, their eyesight doesn't need to adjust for nighttime hunting. In addition, they do not hunt by surprise, but pursue their prey, so they do not need exact precision in estimating the distance from potential prey. What's more, the blur gradient for the retina becomes less noticeable when the eyes are higher above the ground. Somewhere lost in these evolutionary adaptations is our cat palace, who has round eyes even though the way this cat functions and its physical conditions would prefer vertical eyes like those of its feline relatives. It's hard to explain why he has just such eyes, but if you have any suggestions, let us know in the comments. One theory is that having round pupils helps him observe his surroundings. In large open spaces such as the Mongolian steppes, where everything blends together, it's easy for him to spot food. The palace's cat, euphemistically speaking, is not fond of company. Even small kittens are not fond of large company, which they communicate by growling at each other. They lead a solitary lifestyle, hiding in rock crevices or gopher burrows. This is a cat that values its space. The density of males can reach up to 10 individuals per 80 square miles. Females are somewhat more tolerant in this regard. The area of the 16 females ranged from 3 to 50 square miles. They only mate during the breeding season, which lasts up to 42 hours a year. The number of individuals of this unusual cat is gradually decreasing from year to year. Poaching contributes to this, although it is banned in most countries. Looking at this cutie, questions go through your mind, can I have it at home? No. It is illegal to do so. The palace cat is a wild cat that is hard to domesticate. Keeping him in conditions that are not natural to him is dangerous. He is threatened by infectious diseases such as toxoplasmosis and feline immunodeficiency virus, or 5V for short. In the wild, the chance of being infected is much lower than in captivity because such diseases are less prevalent in its natural environment. Even a small kitten does not forget where it came from and knows its DNA for which its place is in remote, empty and mountainous Asia.